one of the most important issues we had the opportunity to discuss today is the planned trip of Joseph Borrell to Moscow that is scheduled to take place in, at the beginning of February. And uh, this plan caused a discussion under what circumstances this trip should, should take place. Some of us, including myself, uh, argued that it would be good to, first of all, to discuss the issue with the newly appointed uh, State Secretary, U.S. State Secretary Antony Blinken, uh, in order to make the position of Joseph Borrell stronger vis-à-vis -vis the uh, Russian authorities. I also claim that it would be probably good to go first to Kiev, given the uh, situation of uh, our uh, East neighborship uh, uh, partners. Some of them, actually half of them, are suffering from the loss of territorial integrity because of Russian uh, policies. So all that uh, was an opportunity to start our discussion on Russia, but we uh, agreed that uh, uh, one of the councils will be devoted to the, to the discussion of uh, EU relations with Russia after coming back by Josef Borrell, and we are supposed to uh, discuss all five guiding principles our relations with Russia. I also, in this context, I also uh, mentioned the uh, situation in Belarus, and I uh, argued that the, uh, uh, that the European Commission uh, should present the economic plan for democratic Belarus also uh, before uh, Joseph Borrell's uh, trip to Moscow. The other uh, very important issue we had the opportunity to discuss was uh, the accomplishment of the Brexit negotiations. Uh, so we have the agreement, the negotiations lasted four and a half years, and as the chief uh, negotiator indicated, but also most of the, those who were taking part in the discussion. Uh, so the most important thing was here that the European Union member states showed enormous amount of uh, unity and solidarity uh, during, this, during this process. What, is, what was also very mm, interesting was that uh, if the European Union expected Britain, Great Britain, to coordinate its uh, foreign and security uh, policy, policy with, with us. So the, the European voices from this part of the continent uh, stressed uh, very much that our uh, foreign policy, our security policy, is based on the same values as the British one. So it's what would be desirable uh, uh, would be uh, just uh, an agreement concerning this issue. But as we know, the British side doesn't want to formalize any cooperation in this respect. Thank you.